Hello guys, uh, this is a small video to show how my uh, Steam Deck is looking with uh, all entries added for my ROMs for uh, using Steam ROM Manager to the, my Steam uh, to my Steam Deck. Um, I use local media, so I changed all the config entries to use local media, and um, I created. Uh, so mixed image definitions for the scraper that I'm using. I'm using scraper.net uh, scraper. And what I did was create uh, a mixed image setting to generate these cover images. So the cover images are basically the screenshot zoomed in and then the wheel image laid over it, as you can see. Uh, these images, I also created uh, grid images. These are the grid images, these are the cover images. But these grid images are not created by me. These are the default from the screenscraper.fr database, which the screenscraper, which the scraper.net scraper uses. So if I start a game, and I go, I also have the logo, as you could see on top. And if I quit it, and I go back to my home page, you can see Nintendo 64, or uh, if I launch a Nintendo DS game, oh, it's a Game Boy Advance game. It will say Game Boy Advance, and show me the grid. Uh, or, uh, I'm not sure if this system is a nesting kick. So if I go back, see Game Boy Color, or I think this is Master System. So the last played game will always be shown as a grid. Uh, I have others also. I think this is Master System. Afterburner is Master System, yeah. So also in my collections, uh, if I go to the collections, I was able to generate uh, all entries using Steam ROM Manager. Uh, by default, it does not work if you add a lot of ROMs, because Steam Deck seems to have a very low limit on the maximum number of open files it can have uh, at, at the same time. And I had to increase that value a lot to make sure uh, Steam ROM Manager could import these, uh, these, these collections. So I'll show you a few of the collections. Uh, this is Atari Jaguar, and these are all generated using the scraper, using my uh, mixed image settings. Some of them, for example, this one looks really good, but you also have others, like this one perhaps, or these two, that does not look that good. But overall, it worked pretty, pretty good, I think. It's very clear which games it are. You see a small screenshot. And you can see the the title, the, the wheel name. So this was a, a Jaguar. I'll show some other games, Atari Lynx. I still have to do my main ones. Those I haven't done yet. So I'm waiting on the scraper to finish my main games. Uh, Dreamcast. This one is really good, Sega Rally. And it uses the screenshots which are, are available by the scraper. Uh, the Nintendo DS ones, they don't look so good for the covers. Uh, probably because it's a dual screen. Uh, I might change it to something else. I made some other, co made some other uh, mixed image settings. Uh, the mixed image uh, settings are all already available. I will put a link in my, uh, in my description. It's available on my GitHub, and I showed a few example pages, games also, so you could see how it looks. But this video shows it also. So there's Game Gear. It's really nice now. Um, which one do we have? Game Boy. really cool or Game Boy Color I think is next or Game Boy Advance 
Game Boy Advance. These also have some issues. See, for example, this one and these two. It does not always generate optimal images, but it's because it zooms in on the screenshot and you have to be lucky to, to get a good one. For example, this one looks better, although the Nemo one in the screenshot is not that good. So it, it really depends on the system and the, and the screenshots of the game. But in a lot of circumstances, it's very clear to, to see which game it is. And uh, yeah, to test it and play it. Huh? Yatse, for in one games. Advance War, for example, the Advance War, that looks good. This one also looks good. Robo Attack looks very good, Action Man. So... Game Boy Color. 102 Dalmatians looks also good. Oh, this one also, 1942. I haven't looked at all of them yet. How they look. So it's also the first time for me. I basically get, was busy generating all the images and creating the mixed image settings. Uh, which one do we have? That was Game Boy Color, the Genesis ones. It's really nice. Shuck Rock looks good. Not sure why I have a double one, probably because I have the Japanese or the European version do, uh, also. I tried to clean my ROMs, uh, but it did not always work. Uh, that was Genesis Master System. Some of you probably already saw some of my preview videos on the Emu Deck Discord. Uh, and here, Chuck Rock is also good. Cloudmaster. This one is also good. D Duck, Speed Trap. Some of them look as if it was originally made for it. Uh, Master System, which one do we have? Nintendo Entertainment System. Oh, the NES. Or which one is next? Nintendo 64. And I can boot them all, I can play them. But I haven't tested it all. There are probably some issues with certain games, but it's basically RetroArch. And uh, Steam ROM Manager adds uh, non Steam shortcuts to launch the emulators directly. And I took the Emu Deck uh, setup, the configs, and then I started uh, modifying everything to use local images. With me, my local images are scraped in a matter of seconds, but adding the games. Uh, takes about two to three minutes, depending on your size of the ROMs. I mean, uh, the total amount of ROMs you have. Uh, so, which one did we show? PSP, so Sega 32X. Or, we are nearing the end. Sega CD. Now, uh, this one is a bit dark. Airport Gym looks good. Dragon Slayer looks good. Final Fight. Mortal Kombat is not centered, but yeah, it can happen. Most of the time in those old games, the main action is in the center of the screen. And I center the screen also, but I zoom in on the center of the screen. So in most of the cases, it looks okay. I will do a video later. Probably not today, probably not tomorrow. On how to set this up yourself uh, in Steam ROM Manager. Uh, but it will mean you cannot update uh, uh, Steam ROM Manager anymore from Emudeck or it will overwrite your config configuration. So if there are new emulators coming out, you have to add them yourself, which for me isn't an issue. So yeah, this was my setup. I can... As you can see, I have plenty of them. So, 
I, pre- I, I usually like uh, playing around with um, such things to generate images, to, to test it out, to see how far I can push it. Uh, because a lot of the people are using downloaded images, grids from Steam GridDB, but it uses fuzzy, fuzzy logic uh, matching. And with me, it matches the images to script, the, the ROMs to script, uh, the images to script the, the ROM file names. So it's easy to do that. It's also easy, very easy to set up in Steam ROM Manager. Uh, so yeah, this is my Steam Deck setup. Uh, my, my Amy Deck setup in uh, Steam itself. I also have Emulation Station Desktop, but I did another video about that. So, check back soon, as I will probably do a video on how to do this yourself. Bye.